Welcome to How to List Your Product on Warrior Plus. In this video, I will take you through the basics of how you can list and launch your product with your Warrior Plus account. Get started by logging in to your Warrior Plus account. Then, click on this Vendors link here. You'll come to this page, which gives you two options to start managing your sales on this site. You can look through the services offered here to decide which you'd like, but I'd recommend going for the advanced free setup. So click on this green button here. You will then arrive on this page, where you can start specifying details about your product. First, select the sale type. You can choose between buy now, single payment, subscription multi-payment, or free product, whichever applies. For now, I'm going to select free product. For product code, this is generated by Warrior Plus by default, so just leave it as it is. And now you can move on to the product name. I'm just going to type in test for now. Down here, you'll need to upload your delivery file. If, let's say, the product you're offering is a download, like an ebook or PDF file, then attach the file here. If you have more than one file, compile them in a zip file and then attach it here. However, if, let's say, your product isn't downloadable and is actually in the form of online content, you can skip the previous step and just type in the URL where your buyer will access your product after purchase. Over here, you have the option to get sales notifications. Enabling this will allow you to be notified when your product gets purchased, but it's completely up to you. I'm going to leave the sales notification on. Beneath that, you can set your product's refund period. If you aren't allowing any refunds, set this value at zero days. Down here, you need to specify the type of content your product contains, whether it's an ebook or an audio file, or even a combination or bundle of different types of content. Just go through the list and select the ones that pertain to your product. Now here under categories, you want to select no more than three categories that your product falls under. Again. Just go through this list and find the three categories that match your product best. The next field allows you to key in some keywords. This is great because it can help with your SEO and your product will be able to be seen by all the right people. So type in your keywords here, no more than three, and make sure to separate them by commas. You also have the option to include an image of your product. Just click the Select Image button here, and you can upload your product from your desktop. You could even choose not to upload a custom image, in which case, this default Warrior Plus image will be displayed. Here, you also have the option to limit your sales. Let's say the item you're selling is a physical product. Setting a limit will prevent you from overselling items when they are already out of stock. Under Support Details, you need to include a support email address. This is the email address which will be given to your buyers, so that they may contact you for support. If you have a contact form hosted online, you can also input your support URL here, so that customers can contact you this way. Moving on, you need to specify if your product is a standalone product without additional one-time offers or upsells. If there are OTOs and upsells, what you want to do is keep this off, and then create your sales funnel via the link provided. Over here, you just need to include the regular price of your product. I'm going to enter $9.99. For this bit here, if you've connected your Warrior Plus account with any autoresponders or webinar softwares, you can configure those here. If you haven't connected your accounts yet, you can do so by clicking on this blue button here. And similarly, you can configure your membership software, if you have one, in this section down here. For this custom integration section, I usually just leave it empty. If you have the know-how to configure these, you can, but I usually just skip past this section. On to affiliate programs. This is where you select the commission rates for affiliates promoting your products. You can also choose not to have an affiliate program at all by selecting no affiliate program, though I wouldn't recommend it. Down here, you can add in extra information about your product. This text will be displayed to affiliates who are interested in promoting your product. And below that, this Affiliate Program Accelerator feature promotes your Warrior Plus affiliate program in exchange for commission, so it's up to you to turn this feature on or to leave it off. In this bottom section, 
I highly recommend that you keep this deal of the day as eligible. Because if your product is picked as deal of the day, it will be promoted to more people, both customers and affiliates. You can also specify here if Warrior Plus affiliates get a different commission compared to regular affiliates, so you can choose the value here. And lastly, this is where you add in extra information for Warrior Plus to access your product. Warrior Plus will need to review your product before it gets listed in the marketplace. So, for example, you'll need to provide login details if your product comes in the form of a members-only website. And once you're done, all you need to do is hit save and then wait for your product to be approved. It's that easy. That's it for now. I will teach you how to set up a sales funnel on Warrior Plus. To do this, you will need to have already added some products to your Warrior Plus account. These will be the products that you use as upsells or downsells. Now, let's get to it. Once you've logged into your Warrior Plus account, click on the Vendors tab and then select Offers. This is where you will start to build your sales funnel. Click on this green Plus New Offer button. On this page, you can start filling in the details of your offer. So this is where you name your sales funnel. For this one, I'm just going to type in test. Down here, you can also add a description of your offer. Again, I'm just going to fill in test. Now here, under category, you want to select at least one category that your product or offer falls under. Just go through this list and select up to three categories that match your product best. I'm just going to select advertising for now. This next field allows you to key in some keywords. This is great because it can help with your SEO and your product will be able to be seen by all the right people. I'm just going to key in test again. You also have the option to include an image of your product. And down here, you can toggle the privacy of your offer. I'm going to turn this off for now since it's just a test. Then I'll click create. Now on this page, you'll see our offer has been successfully created, but we still have a bit more to fill up. Now what you want to do is include a sales page URL. Just copy and paste your sales page URL here. I'm going to use a dummy URL for now. And then below that, you can link your offer to an existing WSO post if you have one. You can leave this blank for now. You can also select a checkout banner. You've got some pre-launch options, but we can skip that for now. And I am going to turn off this affiliate section since this is currently just a test. And I'll hit create again. And you have successfully created your first offer page. This is where your front end product will be. If you look up here, you'll see it says that this offer is not yet active. This is because if you look at the page, you'll see we still haven't added a front end product yet. So let's do that now by clicking on this. Over here, you'll find a list of your products available on Warrior Plus. So I'm just going to select one at random and hit save. Now if you scroll down here, you'll notice this offer map or sales funnel. This is our front end product here. And now what we want to do is create an upsell. So let's click here to create an upsell. Now we're going to enter in a name for our new page. I'm going to type upsell1. And below that, include your sales page URL. Then hit save. And here you've got your upsell page. Now what you need to do is link this upsell one to your main page and front end product. Click on this button, add upsell. And over here you just select upsell one and save. And there, you've successfully created an upsell for your front end offer. If you want to create a downsell page, click this button here, add downsell. Select New Downsell Page. Then type in the name of your downsell page and add in your URL and hit Save. Scroll down here and you'll see that our front-end offer has been linked to both an upsell and a downsell. But of course, we haven't added products to our upsell and downsell pages, so we should do that now. I'll select a random product from this list. But actually, you can also create an upsell page for this upsell one. To do that, just click on this button. We can call this Upsell2. Input our URL, then click Save. And now we click on here again, and we select Upsell2 for this page. 
and we can link it to down cell 1 and hit save. Now if you scroll downwards, you'll see that our sales funnel is more dynamic and complex. We've got our front end offer, which leads to one upsell and one downsell. And from upsell 1, we've got a link to upsell 2 and a link to this downsell, the same downsell that's linked to our front end offer. So this is how you can go about creating your sales funnel on Warrior Plus, and you can create it however you like. You could add one or two more upsells and downsells, or leave it as it is. It's completely up to you. And once you're happy with how your sales funnel looks, all you need to do is submit your offer for review. And you're done! After setting up your product on Warrior Plus, you should be able to retrieve your Buy Button codes. To do that, quite simply, what you need to do is, once you're in your Warrior Plus account, go to Vendors and look for this thing called Offers. If you've already created your sales funnel, you should arrive at a page that looks like this. So what I'm doing right now is taking one of these existing ones as an example. The most important thing you need is this main page here, which is actually also known as your front-end offer. You'll notice that under any of these products in the funnel, you'll see there's this button over here that says Get Code. Click on it and you'll get this pop-up here. So you can select the HTML codes or the forum codes, depending on what you want. But most likely you'll want the HTML codes. So select this whole thing then, right-click, and copy. And this is a preview of what your button looks like. But you can customize this further by editing the style over here. You can change between clean or flat. Change the color if you want. I'm just making it up right now. Let's just go with yellow since it looks good, and I'm going to leave this clean. For the text here, you can choose whatever words you want to have here. Leave it as buy now, or customize it. You see, that's how easy it is. You can even add a border if you like, but I'd not recommend it. Basically, it's best to just leave it as it is. You can put any display you want, but it's good to go just the way it is now. Let's just select this whole thing, right-click, and select copy. In your HTML editor, or even your WordPress, if you're selling this on your WordPress blog, just paste this buy button code anywhere you want. I'm in my own HTML editor right now, and I'm just going to paste in the codes. I'm going to right click, and paste. And let's see what it looks like right now. Again, what you're seeing is just a test sales letter. And you're good to go. Let's test out our buy button by clicking on it to see if it works. And you'll know if it works if you see this checkout page over here. That's how easy it is. Mm -hmm.